I bring it around a bit. All right, so we're live, and uh, we've been away for a little while, so we've got some uh, kind of catching up to do. Um, we haven't seen each other since, um, well, we, George and I have seen each other, we're talking about, you know, as, as a chat. We haven't seen each other since, uh, I think we did one when we come back from Singapore. We did a quick little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's All been right, a so we did a little, we did, we did a little one there. But the funny thing was, is I was talking to someone the other day about this, and, um, you know, our 100th chat was quite a long time ago. And since then, this is like, we've only done 12, so we've been really slacking since uh, since doing them. So we, um, well, it's actually probably a, more a bad time because George is um, going on holiday. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to do one for the um, New York Comic Con. Uh, we're going to go off air. I'm going to go away for five, ten minutes, come back on, and then we're going to do a uh, catch-up chat. We're just going to split it just because otherwise um, the way we kind of ramble, you know, we're going to just just be all over the place and you just uh, just don't really that. have any that's why yeah i just won't have any structure so we're going to try and do a quick one um which is going to be the best pieces from uh new york comic-con the reason why we're going to do it this way um is because i was i was fortunate enough to go so you know we got george uh as um kind of an outside person going from it from uh looking from facebook and looking for the comments and looking at the pictures through facebook um and then we got myself who actually was there uh to say what i for when I whenever while I was there. So we yeah. thought it was just a good little uh a good little show to do. So this one should last hopefully under an hour. Uh <laughs> and then we'll go go on to the chat. But you know the way we talk. I mean there's about eighty five pictures I've got. Uh but there are multiples of pieces and whatever. So what we'll do is uh we'll go straight into there. What we're gonna start off with is um I mean there was only really uh three um big companies that were kind of of interest there uh Kobe Kia was there but they didn't really have much on display and it was all their smaller things uh the piece I did really want to see from Kobe Kia would have been the um Eric Sosa Punisher which actually looks really really good and I did meet up with Eric and um when he was he was like flicking through because they didn't have it there they had it like in a uh, brochure and he actually said that he wishes he did that in court scale and he said if he did it in court scale it would have been really really good and uh you know, been yeah. picked up by another company and i actually think it would have been uh very popular in course it does look really nice um then also you had um god who was those other ones they had quite a lot of smaller pieces uh the ones that did the you do know there's no pictures up here right bitch no 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 i don't have pictures of these i'm just saying i'm you know. glad I, just, I, I didn't want if you're having a technical problem i didn't want like to highlight it within the first couple of minutes no 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 yeah, I've, I've, got, I've, got the pictures, pictures that. I've got the pictures for the first of figures the pcs and the sideshow pieces that kind of stood out um what was the punisher i had i'm sorry the uh, carnage i had it was the um Marvel, um, it's the uh, Marvel milestones, but it was um, yeah. So yeah, anyway, they, they, had a, they had a small stall there as well, but um, so yeah, that's it really. But they didn't really have anything big. This all stood out. You had Storm collectibles, which are more figures. Uh, you had Iron Studios only had their one tenth line. Um, so again, it was all yeah, nice. Man. The one tenth line is really, really, really good. Nice. That one tenth line from Iron Studios. That's probably that's one of the best. I mean, that's one of their best lines. I think that, it is as really... well. It's, it's quite consistent. And but the problem with them was I saw their. Um, I should have had a picture of this one actually because it was really disappointing. It was their um, diorama with uh, Spider Gwen. Uh, Carnage, Venom, and uh, Spider Man, and that was really bad. Really bad. It looks bad. Yeah, it looks good in pictures, but it's terrible. It's bad on film. No, it being in person, the seams are really, really bad. It looks really cheap. And uh, prototype, it, it, no, or is it, is, it, is it production piece? It was a prototype, it, proto but, mm, it, it didn't look promising, I'll tell you didn't promise it at all and really? it didn't have that kind of um, I had with that piece, the, the, the issue i had with that more was the fact that you've got four pieces there and you can't interchange them well that was what i was going to say got yeah. all the bases that's at different heights it's like going downwards mm. sloping the way i would have done it yeah. is that i had the figure like magnetized or pegged into the base and yeah. then you put whoever where you want to put it so maybe you can maybe you can I don't know, but the thing is, is it didn't seem to have that, you know, that yep. look of the uh, kinetic edge piece where you can kind of put them wherever you want and you can match them all up. 
Uh, yeah, and you're yeah. going to have like a, quite a lot of different combinations of who you have with who. It didn't yeah. seem to have that. So we'll see. Hopefully that was a prototype and hopefully it will be better. Uh, but my first my first uh, impression of that was, holy shit, that sucks ass. And it was probably <laughs> like um, one seventh. It was it was tiny. It was small. One seventh, one eighth. It was it weren't one six. Okay. Uh, anyway, so what we do is we'll get on to the actual uh, the pieces that did stand out. Sorry, that was me bitching about them ones. Um, so what we've got straight away is we'll go into the um, first figures. Uh, it was their first convention. And um, so what the piece that you see when you first went over to their display was uh, the Bowser. And um, the hilarious pick- thing. Yeah, yeah. Can you see it? No. What can you see? Your fucking hairy face. Now click like on the I'm bottom. on some sort of fucking missionary service. Yeah, now click on the bottom because you've clicked, obviously clicked on me so it doesn't keep switching. There you go. I've got Rad Martin's G spot. Oh, i got your ugly face. Well, so you don't actually have no the pictures. Bowser there? No. God damn it. I've got it on my screen and I've got it on my phone. So you, it's your thing because I can see it. Motherfucker. So basically, right, carry on chatting. So I'll go out and come back in. What the first one is is uh, when shit. you walked over to the uh, first of the figures display, they actually it's their first convention and um, they haven't done any before. They they decide to for, go in the deep end and they decide they're going to go straight to New York. Uh, I was very surprised that they didn't do a convention in Asia to try to test the water. But the thing is, is they just thought that. Their biggest market is in America, so they're going to go into the American market, and they're just going to try straight away to to do that. Um, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it. You now. See it? All right, good. Yeah. Um, so what they did is, um, as I say, they uh, it wasn't cheap. I mean, to to have a um, a spot in New York Comic Con is is tens tens of thousands of pounds, um, and then to great bring over all your pieces uh they had to transport them all five fedex five via via fedex and then had to just you know the display stands everything so um for them to be there and then pay for all the people to go over it's easily fifty thousand dollars easily probably Shit. you know so they went into they went in the deep end they always knew that the convention was always a way to get their name out there rather than make the pre-sale so um the first piece you saw as, as you went over was this Bowser, and it's huge, and it's super, super impressive. Um, I have to say, when I first heard they were making a Bowser, and it's this size, um, I mean, this is it's huge. I think it's like it's like 20-something inches tall. Uh, you know, it's really wide because of the flame in his mouth, and uh, it, it weighs a well, lot. The, the flame will make it deeper, man. It's wide because of that fucking shell. And his arms outstretched. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, the, the flame makes it really, really deep. I mean, to display this is going to be really hard. But um, the thing about this is, when I when I heard they were making a Bowser of this scale, I just thought to myself, this this isn't going to work. It's kind of a bit too <clears throat> too much of like a cutesy character to be done that big. And I don't, I just think it will lose something. Um, but what I saw in person, it's super impressive. Um, the texture is really nice, and I think they they do a really good job of making it um sort of modernizing it but making it stick to the classic look and i think it was really really well done really really yeah, well it's, done. Like it was... a, it's like a hd version of the classic look isn't it yeah exactly what's the situation uh, the... with the uh, flame there the translucent resin so what it is um yep so what it is is the flame actually they've uh, they've just increased the brightness of the intensity of the light the brightness of the light and uh, what it does is it's got this effect where um i don't know if you can see the arrow on the screen but um there's kind of the light starts here and it kind of like start, goes around and it kind of yeah. gets brighter so it kind of like goes like that so it goes yeah, like that it, and it goes I've like seen, that uh, I've seen it in the video yeah and it's it, sort and, of like uh, like he's like he's blowing it out and blowing it further it's like he's, if he was to blow it like yeah. that it would kind of uh bellow like around like this um and, he, and he's, he's he's done Again, I mean, like uh, I only saw it like the uh, the version wasn't wasn't very bright that I saw, but you know, in the convention I could see it, and uh, it was pretty bright in there. I mean, was, as you can see on the ceiling, there's like really really bright spotlights, uh, but I could mm-hmm. see the the flame effect. I, I think this piece, if you're a Mario fan, uh, I think it's, it's really really good, really good. So this is one of the pieces mm-hmm. from First of Figures that really stood out. Um, again, there's another. I'm glad they got there, man. I, I... 
I think they. I think it's going to be big. I think this next year is going to be a big year for them. I think. Um, I think so too. I mean, they. Uh, I met obviously. I they, met. Better uh, and better and better. So I hope that you know that's yeah, going to yeah. happen. On um, on Red Titan, obviously, and um, it was of a Transformer piece which came out in 1998 from First of Figures. So they've been making pieces for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a uh, Optimus Prime versus um, Megatron, and it looked pretty cool. It actually looked pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's that's that. And the base there, I put a um, uh, like a credit card uh, standing up on the base to see just to get the scale when I did the video and mm. the credit card was still smaller than the height of the base. <laughs> so it's, it's big. Uh, again, I can't, again, I can't, can't say enough good things about this, this piece. I really, really liked it. But the thing is, I mean, for me, I would never buy it because it's not really, uh, it doesn't really go with anything I have. Um, and I do not yeah. have the space for this. Um, but for the price, I think it's uh, six nine nine. Um, if this was made by, pretty much any other company this would be a thousand dollars this would be easily a thousand dollars or uh, nine hundred dollars it's it's huge and super heavy so uh, yeah. yeah um the next piece was the uh the berserk and uh this is uh guts from berserk this is more uh from the newer uh version and uh basically uh let's see if i've got a better picture because i think so I'm still seeing Bowser. Is something going on at my end or what? It should be. So I don't know if it's you. I can see Fuck, on my man. on my phone screen. I can see it. So, um, so yeah. So you, as I say, with the with the guts piece, basically using his uh, uh, his armor from the newer ones. He's got that one arm. So this is all later on, and uh, the piece is done really really well. I think a lot of people sold them off. A lot of people sort of said, well. Prime one have done this super nice piece. Um, you know, why why are you even gonna bother? You know, the Prime One piece, blah, blah, blah. And uh people just wrote them off and just said, like, you know, no point. When I saw this piece again, I was uh again another piece I'm super impressed with. It comes with three heads. I think the head that's actually on there is probably the best head uh for the pose because he's kind of like he's always kind of quite angry when he kind of does like you know, a big slash, he'll kind of like be kind of screaming while he does it. Um, and again, I mean, uh, you know, the real loads of detail here. There's like a chain there that like he links on there. He's got like a strap here. Um, he's got all these uh, throwing knives there. Uh, loads of texturing on the cape. Um, and what you have here as well is um, along the bottom. I don't think I have uh, one of the side of here, but there's like a, a tapestry of um, uh, the villagers. And basically, when all the villagers are dead, and this all their souls are like trapped in this like purple. And uh, what they're trying to do is there's going to be a light up from the bottom, and uh, the actual faces of the villagers you'll be able to see under uh, the clear resin. So that'd be a really nice effect if they can do that properly. Um, and again, you got the three heads there. You see them. Nah, something's going on with my end. I, every, whatever picture I click back on it on, I'm stuck on. So I can't see oh. any of your progression whatsoever. That sucks. Can't see nothing. I can't see oh, nothing at we, all. I mean, we'll go. We'll, we'll go through this. I mean, once we go on to the uh, the other pieces, you'll know more about them anyway because you would have seen that the sideshow pieces and things. But I'll I'll run through most of this anyway. Uh, so again, I mean the uh, yeah the the guts berserk piece definitely. I mean, I only just saw the series. I don't know, like a couple of weeks before. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I only finished watching the first 25 episodes. Um, it's one of those things where you kind of watch it and there's a bit of like, not a lot happens um, in the first 20. It's a bit like nothing happens for the first 20 episodes and everything kind of happens at the end. Um, but then it's one of those Did things. you see Prime 1's one there? Sorry? Did you, did you see Prime 1's Berserk there? Prime 1 weren't there. No, Prime 1 weren't there. I was going to say, I wondered how this compared. I'd love to see. I'd love to see it so I could compare. Yeah. Um, so I've only seen the first twenty-five episodes. And if you get two bases, yeah, so you get that crazy sort of soul base yeah. on an, on the um, on the exclusive. Yeah. That's sort yeah. of like first for figures. Is, that's their sort of selling point, isn't it? Is that their exclusives have more of an elaborate base? Yeah. 
And then they'll go for the kind of... Which is actually uh, quite clever because a lot of people like a classic sort of look where the bases yeah. are quite minimal and the figures get all the priority. So I yeah. guess they're uh, appealing to both markets there, which is very clever. They are, but also the other side of it is they're appealing to the people who uh, may not have the budget to buy one of the... It's going to be, uh, I think it's around $700. Um, and it's, it's a yeah, massive piece. Exclusive. Yeah, I believe it's going to be around $700. Right, so what's, what's, what's the regular then without all the... With well, the, 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 regular is gonna, the regular will be like cheaper because if you remember like with uh, Law, uh, Law had the big dragon. And I, uh, I think Law was... was it uh, I think it was about 100... I think it was, it was $140 more. Or $115 yeah. more. So, you know, if, like, they, yeah. if they do that, they kind of appeal to, uh, you know, the... Uh, you know, the people who may not be able to spend that much money um and then also the people who may not have the space so they kind of you know it's a very very clever thing to do um yeah clever like it so three heads again i prefer the one on there so the kind of screaming head um I, they with with that pose um i don't know i don't think the other two really work for me but again i mean i didn't really see them on there so we'll see the next piece um is probably one of the most sort of dynamic poses i've seen in especially from them, which is the Mugen, uh, from the um, Samurai Champloo, which is the um, the one where he's doing the handstand. And, yeah, uh, I know. Yeah, with the metal, I think they're die-cast arrows and things all up the, yep. up the side all of the, the base. Uh, I believe all the swords and the arrows are going to be die-cast. Um, I mean, the the sculpt of this one, again, is really, really well done. I mean, it seemed like uh, first of figures were, were always putting out uh, very good pieces, but they were always um, like the, the kind of link uh you know those kind of characters which they always had like um a cutesy look to them and they always had like a certain look to them and then as soon as we saw the uh autorus um it seemed like that was the piece that kind of made uh you know made them kind of change direction and look at you know the other pieces that they were doing and then you know i really really wanted to see the um the sif i would have loved for their sif to be there that's the piece i really would love to have seen um, but this the piece wolf, again, yeah, just, the wolf, yeah, the, um, with the sword in it, uh, it looks massive. Dark. It looks good yeah. though. I, I can see a picture of it now coming through. I like the dynamicness of this pose a lot. I really, oh, I, yeah. I think this is quite unique. It's got quite a skeletal kind of um, physique, but you know, I can't, I kind yeah. of like the agileness of it. I think it looks cracking, really different. Mm. That quite vibrant too with the colours. Definitely looks oh, yeah. good. Yeah, no, they done a really good job with that. The next one is the uh, Solid Snake. And um, I was, again, I mean, I'm, I've said about most of these pieces, but I was really impressed with this piece. I do really like this piece. And out of all the pieces um, on the first of figures setup, uh, this would probably be the piece that I would put my money in just because of the um, attachment to it. I love Belga Solid when, I, when it came out. Um, obviously, the PS1 one, not the NES one. Um, is it more like fucking Tenchu this game? I never played this game. Is it more like Tenchu sort of game? Is it a stealthy game? It does have moments like that, yeah. But the second one, I think, was more and more like that. The first one, um, you know, you didn't have to be as patient because I, I, I'm really not patient yeah. at all with that kind of situation. So I could never play Tenchu because I'll just get done because I'll just lose my shit and yeah, you, get killed. Yeah, you find the shit, yeah, I remember. Uh, so you know, with with um, Metal Gear Solid, I mean, um, yeah, I really, I really, really loved the game when it came out. So this piece, again, I I love the look of it. I really love the look of it, and I love the. What sort of criticisms, uh, though, man? Here, this this a lot of criticisms. This not for how it looked at the moment, but a lot of people very. I mean, this is the problem you see when you when you make changes. Um, people sometimes like how it looks originally and don't like it when you listen to people making changes and you change it all. So it's kind of difficult, isn't it? It's hard to please everyone. It's hard to please everyone, and it's also hard to know who is going to be the person who's actually going to buy it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to get these oh, group oh, of oh, people... A person, a person buying it is fucking useless. You need plural. You need no, no, multiple. No, no. You need a no, I know. I know you need however many people, but I mean, there could be a person making lots and lots of noise, and you know oh, yeah. they, they have no intention of buying it and i see that quite a lot in, in groups those are the people that make all the noise to be honest are the ones that don't fucking buy it yeah that's the truth yeah, yeah. But you the get real problem just... also as well is that you, you set a pre precedent that's where it's more yeah. dangerous well i told them this when, when we had when we've spoken to them that once you yeah. do this this type of thing 
once you make these allowances, you're going to get fucking people saying, well, why didn't you, why don't you just change this? And why don't you just change that? Yeah. What you did for, so it's, it's very dangerous ground to be playing very, you know, very hard because there'll be more passionate people saying that they don't like the next piece. You know, why yeah, about, yeah, what yeah. about that Bowser? Why don't you make it all so that his head fucking, you know, you press a button and his head fucking jumps off his body or he jumps up the air and lands on his fucking shell or some shit like that. You've got to be very careful. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you've got to be very well, careful. That's, because, that's, that's, that's you know? uh, the balance that people you, know, you have to have, and you have to, I guess, you have to learn who to listen to and who not to. But it's hard. It is hard, and also people just don't realise that by saying, you know, oh yeah, that that gun, um, they had they had to change the gun because the the gun that's in uh, Metal Gear Solid is a proper gun, and um, they have Metal Gear Solid license, but they don't have the license to make that gun. So they can't yeah. make the gun. So that, yeah, but people don't yeah. know that, and uh, and then for people for them to people to go, I don't like that gun. I don't like his hair. I don't like the color of his suit. I don't, you know, I don't like whatever. They don't realize that that, that potentially is like, you know, that's another that's another two thousand dollars or whatever for the sculptor to redo it all. You know, they just don't realize that the time and the money just to make those alterations is it, not cheap. Not cheap at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah def well, definitely. And I mean, like you say, you want to make the changes for the people that are going to buy the piece, not for people who, because I mean, that's a big group, man. That first of figures group's a big group. Oh, it's you massive. I mean? It's like 35,000 people. That's, but you know what I mean? That, that That's telling you, you know what I'm saying? You've got 35,000 people in there. There's bound to be people that are just fucking polishing your cock for no reason. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You just never know. Um, The next one. Let me just come out of this a second. Um, the next piece, which I don't see. You see me? Hey. I can see you, dude. The can't see you, Buckle Lewis. All right, no, you won't be able to. The next one, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go on to actual Facebook because I cocked up and I did not download the pictures. So. For once. Do, 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 do. Hold on, hold fire, hold fire. Uh, so we're going. To... So what you're telling me is not only have you come to class late, but you've come to class without your homework. Is that what you're fucking saying? Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Uh... That's all over that, isn't it? All right. So the one I did forget to take the images of. That's a video. We don't want a video. Thing is, there's a lot of these. Sort of... Oh, here we go. So if I do it that way, yeah, the next piece is the uh, Soul Calibur line, which again is the uh, Taki, and uh, she again Taki. You see that? No. Nope. All right. Well, she's the uh, the Soul Calibur lady with the uh, the red suit, dark hair. Big, oh yeah, the big the big boob girl. Yeah, pretty much. That's what um, Colton was talking about. We. Uh, we went out for uh, some food with um, with the boys from uh, uh, Hive Studios, and uh, one of them, uh, uh, Scan, actually did some of the work on this, and he mentioned it. And um, Colson was a bit like, "What piece was that?" And I said, "Oh, the one you told me earlier, where her tits are bigger than her head." And she goes, "Oh yeah, yeah." <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I know. So, I mean, again, this one, the, the body sculpture is really good. There's been a few uh, uh, comments on Facebook about the face and about the face not looking right. Uh, not a very good picture to choose. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. Uh, but the face, I, did, I didn't have an issue with the face at all. I didn't have an issue with the body sculpture. It's really nice. Um, you get people then saying that the um, the texturing on the suit's too smooth or, you know, they, they need more this, more that. But did they again, want her like, to not be textured and or vice versa? And a, yeah, it was something like they, they wanted uh, the suit to be textured and the tits to be smooth. And it was a bit like, oh, come on, guys, really? I mean, like, that's the funny thing about it. I mean, it's, it looked it looked fantastic in person. The base was really good. Um, you know, the body. Yeah, the body it's, exclusive, it's exclusive in it, all that jazzed up base. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's like a like a that's wooden nice. uh, like a brass uh, lotus. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's nice. I remember. So that's the uh, so that's the first for figures lot. And uh, so what we do then is we come back out of that, and oh, we've got people. 
got people commenting here. Sorry about that, guys. I just uh, haven't had a chance to have a look at the comments, I'm afraid. Uh, got loads of comments now. God damn it. Read them, bitch. See what's going on. All right. So let's just have a quick look at the comments before we go to the next one. So uh, Brandon Guerrero is watching from Taco Bell. I actually met uh, little Brandon Guerrero while I was uh, while I was there um, in New York Comic Con. So he's a pretty cool, cool guy. Good to meet him. It's good to meet all the people out there, really. I mean, uh, I had a load of people come up and speak to me, and uh, that's what I love about the hobby as well. It's just there's so many, uh, so many like major geeks like me. So it's awesome. And uh, went yeah. out for lunch with uh, with Brendan. We met up with uh, uh, Colio, um, Carlos uh, Super Lobo. So that was pretty cool. That was cool, cool to meet him. Uh, met up with uh, Jao. Met up with Iron Paul. Um, met up with Omar. Um, met up with Omar who? Oh no, not the Omar Impa. Not Omar Impa, not Omar Fallow. There's it was another Omar, and. Um, God, I'm trying to remember now. Um, I'm a Brendan McGill. Oh, Sheik. Omar, is it Omar Sheik? Omar That's Sheik. the one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I've met up with loads yeah. of guys. So many guys. Um, Tacky's up ruled already. Ornstein, uh, collect, Collector Neo uh, is saying that Ornstein is the best in show for New York Comic Con for me. But I, for me, it didn't really do anything for me because I don't really play Dark Souls. And uh, for me, it just... Uh, yeah, didn't didn't really didn't really do much. Which one is that? Uh, it's this kind of like guy who's in like um, gold armor and he's got like a massive, massive. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, look nice. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Massive, so, thing, isn't it? Was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really big. I mean, the spear like was a like lance or something. He's got like a big lance on him. Oh yeah, you could take it off and like fucking javel it at someone. Uh, Sweet. There's someone saying, "How do you guys?" Uh, oh, how. So I'm always curious, how close do you guys, oh, how close are you guys to each other? Uh, <laughs> we're like 30 miles. Close in location or close in friendship? What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know, yeah. How, well, how close are we? Like, are it's we, about, are we... It close, close in locations, how close do we live to each other? It's about 25 miles. Close yeah. as in how close are we to, like, each other? <laughs> I don't know. We're not man. It's a hard one. It, 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 uh, it varies from day to day. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's not so good. Um, no, I'm not so, but not yeah, so the, close. Uh, some, yeah, sometimes we we're arguing. I think this morning, but um, I want to see pictures of Ornstein. I thought the paint looked a bit flat. Uh, yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, I think they did need to do a little bit more work on that. Alakai looked quite good as well. Uh, but they forgot to put the hand on because um, they, they, they unpackaged it and the hand was left in the box and then they took the, the box away to storage. Um, so you only have one arm. Uh, <laughs> okay, Eric uh, Hendershot, yeah, he's saying, oh, no, you meant how close uh, do you live to each other? <laughs> oh, yeah. So about, about 25 miles. Um, then we are going to move on to, not that stuff, that's the chat. Uh, so next we're going to move on to the, um, pop culture shock pieces. And, um, the first piece that, um, I'm going to bring up is they had the, uh, the Akuma, uh, the ultimate Akuma. And, mm. uh, you know, I actually, I mean, I did really like, uh, screen share. Yeah, so I did really like the Akuma. I I thought it was great. Uh, you're already seeing his foot there, but hey, uh, let me just go. So basically, you know, I I really liked the Akuma, and I think that there is also another body, and uh, another sorry, another pair of legs and another base. So you could add a plain base like the uh, sort of classic style PCS bases. Yeah. So you can actually display two statues at once. Um, I think it's a, I, I, I think it's a cool piece. Um, I think it looks really cool, but I just think it's it's a bit it's a bit overkill. I think for me, I think it's um, it's just yeah, just trying to please absolutely everyone. You know where it, it, I mean they call it the old Mokuma, and it definitely is the old Mokuma because it has absolutely everything. Um, I still absolutely hate that lion head. I hate the one with the lion mane. I really dislike it. Five, um, five. That's what it looks like in the game, dude. Yeah, I know, that, but I just don't. That, that, I, I don't. 
I don't like the look. I don't, I mean, it's, no, it's nothing no, to do with the fuck what you like about the look of it. It's, it's <laughs> actually what he looks like. It's I've seen the game. I've, I've been watching the game like loads of times. I ain't got it. Yeah. I've been watching, but and that's how it looks. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's spot on. I don't it know. Exactly no, how it, should be. it looks like it looks like it looks but, like it looks. I mean, in your the game, I just don't preference like. on the lion main look of a coma is not relevant in this case. The bottom line is, is that it's 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 crossing all the fuck it's ticking all the boxes i agree with mm. you i think it's just i think it's slightly too many boxes ticked there i mean but, but there's loads of people that love having two statues i know people that will buy two cables and display with both displays and buy two iron man and, and yeah, have yeah. both torsos one arm mask one mask yeah, yeah, there are, there people are. That do it. so at the end of the day if you've got the market for it that's great that's fucking cracking mm. you know we'll um, and i do think as well, we'll see what I the think flames weren't the, too clever, um, were they? You, you weren't too happy with the flames. You didn't like the flames on the base? Um, the flames weren't that bad. I mean, like, the, to be honest with you, did you see, like, um, here? Um, you can't see it because that stupid thing stays there when you... I don't know how to get rid of it, but you see... Let me try that. ask me. I can't see nothing. Why are you asking did me? You see, like, uh, like, where the lava joins uh, and it starts to sort of create a skid on top of the lava... Um, I think that looked really good. I think the look of that was really, really good. Um, I mean, especially when I have that fucking pile of shit scorpion next to me. Um, and uh, that, yeah, I mean that, that 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 does look really well done. I mean, the um, the thing is about it is, I mean, like uh, it's a thousand dollars, and um, I think when you first hear like it's not bad the two statues. Yeah, I mean when bad. you when you first hear a thousand dollars for. You know, people are like oh fuck me um but i think that when you see everything you get with it um i think i think it's actually quite it is is uh the price is fair i think especially now they've thrown in the extra legs because originally they didn't have the extra legs uh when it went up for pre-order the extra no. legs were later on but i do think that because you have two statues and then you have the busts for all of the heads um, I think, I think, yeah, thousand dollars. Why not? My, my yeah. issue is that a few of them heads are quite similar looking. I don't, I don't know if all seven were needed, and and for yeah. someone like me, it would actually be a nightmare because I'd be changing them probably once every day. Yeah. It's just yeah. too many. I would be like, You're pretty again. Let me just I'd be like, let's, let me just leave that for a week and then see how I feel. Oh, next week I'll just use the other head, and then before you know it, I've, I've lost seven weeks of my life looking at the well, fucking equipment. Basically. You know, you've got seven heads, so you can have one one every day of the week if you really want to. Yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I quite I quite like it. I mean, um, it looks it looks it looks pretty decent. Yeah, and then the next piece we got, um, we got the Dow Sim, and uh, this piece is really cool, uh, really well done. I mean, the uh, yeah, very, like, very 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 dynamic. I, like the base I really like the base. The base, yeah, I like the base, the, base the was elephants. really cool. Uh, the elephant base was really cool, really well done. Um, I do think there were a few uh, quite bad seams on it. Like on, on his ankle, there was a bad seam. Uh, I'm just hoping it's because it's the prototype. Uh, on his wrist there, there was quite a bad seam. Uh, you know, just parts of it, I think, um, could have been a bit better. Uh, and I'm hoping that the bangles well, or... They have to transport it there and then they have to transport it back. It's not the same as actually like an actual production piece. No, no, that's it? what if, I'm if saying. It's... I'm hoping it's going to be just because it's uh, the prototype. Yeah, well, you know what I mean? Hopefully that's that's the reason. It looked nice, though. I kind of liked it. For, for a Dalsim. I... They, um, they got a classic portrait on that bitch or not? They didn't have it there, but there is one. And there's a blue one as well. I like the bearded, the bearded one with the, um, is he wearing a turban in that bearded one? He yeah. is, no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. I mean, um, I, he's got to have a classic one because I, I, they did make the, that, that, ho that hovering one's pretty nice apart from the fact he's sitting on some sort of black Christmas tree. I couldn't really understand. Well, he, like um, I think it gets a bit of a lean as well off the time. But I think this one, I mean, I really liked, I liked the look of this one and I was, I was very impressed with it. The skulls as well on his chest were really well done uh overall i think i think it was it was well done thumbs up definitely um oh, sweet. next good piece to me. what's that what do you say i said it looked good to me oh good uh so then the next next piece is uh when when i first walked over to the um pcs uh display um the first piece i did see was the greed major and uh when I think when when it came out on the uh, for pre-order and it was like Ultimate Green Ranger will be nine nine nine, 
um, I just thought to myself, are you fucking having a laugh? A hundred dollars for a fucking green Power Ranger. Are you, are you on a bit of water? Um, when, when, I, when I walked over to it, um, you can see kind of why it's a thousand dollars. It's massive. And the base is huge. Um, I mean, like the water effect is done really, really well on the base, and the uh, the dragon tail is done really well as well. Um, I think when when I kind of had a little look at it and looked it over, I was a bit like, yeah, I could kind of see now why again it costs so much to produce because that's a lot of clear resin, um, and with clear resin it costs um, one third more than. Um, like normal resin because there's a lot more damage it's fucking expensive man you know what i mean you can get me with the two bases and the fucking two bodies and the seven heads all that shit you got me there thousand yeah. dollars for a, a green power range is still for me is very expensive it's uh, no, i mean for, for the how yeah, big are we the, to be honest how i big? mean like the um to the tip of that tail to the corner part it must have been like 70 80 centimeters i don't how big is that what's that like what do you mean how big is that is like it? 25 inches no it's big 25 inches no it's bigger than that 25 inches about 60 something centimeters isn't it so it's probably about 30 yeah. inches maybe a bit more is that high no 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 but it's Just high like 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 the from the tip of the tail that width width wise like this fucking yeah 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 and how tall is it uh it's not tall tall i mean tall wise height wise it must be 20 20 inches 20 22 inches but then like i mean it's it's just really yeah. deep like the base is massive like depth wise and all, yeah. all over so i mean uh but again yeah. i mean uh if you're a power ranger fan i don't you know i don't think there's an issue but uh, again i'm not a power ranger fan but i wouldn't buy it but when i walked over I can kind of see the green one's got the back they've got the dragon in it yeah the, the green power Ranger. yeah I remember he was he was the dude I liked and I didn't really watch it but out of all of them I like the I like the green one yeah so that's just going think... around there there you go and it's big speeder as well I'd like uh again I had a very interesting so... conversation with the uh one of the owners of PCS and uh, also I had a conversation with some other people I know about the factories and things like that because I was um, told about one of the factories they're using by one of the owners. So I, I asked a few, I asked around a little bit, and uh, a few people I know have been to the factories and seen there um, some of the work that's being done. And they said the PCS stuff is starting to look really good at the factory. Um, the code so taking is, it this. Is, this Kessler Wolf didn't come out of these good factories because that doesn't look like that's well, been given the, a lot. Apparently, the first piece to be released uh, to the public coming from the new factories is going to be the Conan. Good. I'll be, we'll be waiting for that. So that's why I've ordered one. So, but anyway, that's a, that's a conversation for another day. Um, so, I mean, I had a conversation with, again, one of the owners, and, uh, you know, I, I was very, very open with him, very blunt about uh, my issues I had, which obviously have been uh, voiced on these uh, chats previously. And, um, you know, I said to him, this happened, that happened. I said to him, I've got the ninjas. I weren't very impressed. I got Liu Kang. It was fucking terrible. Um, and, you know, he's, he was a good guy. He kind of took it quite well, actually. And then, uh, you know, he said to me that they've been having issues with some, uh, apparently one of their factories. Um, they used a middleman over in China who wasn't, who didn't speak Chinese. And he was just the wrong person to use. He, um, apparently one of the factories they were using, um, he basically didn't tell him that the factory went out of business and he was trying to outsource it to another what? factory. So the batch, basically the factory he was using to outsource it weren't very good. And that's when it, they delivered the um, Liu Kang um, and a lot, a lot, lot of as well. A lot of damage done with this though, dude. A lot yeah, of damage. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I really hope that, you know, maybe boy that you were chatting to can, t can turn it around because... Yeah. Um, you know, he seems like a straight shooting guy, you know, and, you yeah. know, every release that comes, I mean, Charlie came out, Charlie looked great. Charlie looks fucking great. Nash. Nash. Yeah. yeah. Nash. Well, Nash I've heard, looks great. Um, oh, we look he looks fantastic, yeah, yeah. man. I would, well, that was name, the one um, thing I've seen. I see that Nash come out and I was, I was like, 
Dude, that fucking I'm I'm disappointed that I let that pre order go. Yeah. I mean, I sold that pre order for Mike Wells. I was disappointed. That was the first time I was like, "Fuck!" I wish I'd have kept that because that looked great. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. The arm came out, and I was like, "Nah." I'm glad that's Brandon, gone. Brandon McGill got one, and he said he looks amazing. He said he looked really good. Uh, he said come out great. Um, yeah. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's onwards and upwards, and hopefully, I mean, uh, you know, hopefully it's all it's all going to be better for them. So we'll see. Um, next piece is the uh, Street Fighter, is it Ibuki, uh, from Street Fighter 3, and uh, she was really nice as well. I mean, I, I didn't know who she was Dude, when I walked like over. The agile girl in brown doing like the kick, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know who she was at first. I had to ask someone. I had to say, is she from an anime or what is she from? And they said, no, she's from Street Fighter That's 3. And I was like, I've never played Street Fighter 3, I don't think. So um, no. She she's basically standing on like a tree and it's got like all this cherry blossom all around it and then she's got like a I think it's a red panda yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next very to nice. it. Um, it is done really well and I was I was really really impressed with that. Um, I again I have no idea who the character is but I, I I do really like it. The thing was is the um, the red panda did have a really bad seam halfway through its body so again I'm hoping that's to do with the production as prototype sorry yeah but then also the um, uh, if you look at the cherry blossom, the side that the panda's on looked looked a bit clumped together and didn't look as detailed yeah. as the other side. The other side looked great. It looked fantastic. It was all separated, yeah. painted really, really well. But then on the side with the red panda, it, it looked different. It looked like it you know, it was painted by someone totally different. It looked like it was sculpted by someone different. It, was, it looked almost messy. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping that gets sorted out as well. Um, but again, overall, and then you've got the uh, the base you kind of see the the uh, the tree coming through there and a bit of grass on the bottom. But again, I mean, um, yeah, I, I was I was really impressed when I walked over to this very sort of dynamic piece. I think that a great um, story on PCS. I just, I just the the problem is is like you know what I mean you've got you got to give them you you've got to, you've either got to fucking give them a chance or you're not. Mm. At the end of the day, you got to give them a chance to fix things or not. I mean, yeah. the problem that you've got right is that you you know everyone's talking all this shit. And saying how you know how things are going to change, and you've got to hope that people are listening, because then yeah. what you've got is you've got this Kessler Wolf pictures flying all over the place, and it looks fucking terrible. Yeah, yeah. They're flying all over the forums at the moment, and they look they look bad, dude. They look really fucking bad. Mm. Um, so you know, especially from prototype, it looks a million miles away yeah. from where it was. Well, the, so the um, that's the damage being done. The damage yeah. being done is happening now, and you you're mm -hmm. trying to tell people, oh, in the future. We're going to sort all this fucking mess out. It's very it's difficult tough. for the people invested now. Yeah. So you've got to hope that people are listening. Like, you know what? But there are a lot of good, loyal people out there, you know, so will support and, and do that. But they are losing a lot of business. So you, you just got to hope that people sort of, you know, are listening and like, you know what? Fuck this. I'll uh, I'll give it a chance. Because those prototype pieces, and they're only prototypes, but they, they look pretty good. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, um, the Kessler Warp sculpt is good, but the thing is, is the problem is the paint was really flat. Um, there was a repaint by uh, Michael Crassus did a repaint where he covered it in blood and uh, he had like blood dripping off the teeth and stuff like that, and that looked really good. But again, it's he's repainted yeah. it. So, he's uh, kind of the boy. Then the kind of one of the best pieces of the show, uh, the sad gap. Um, I really, I really think like this as well. the Saga looks super impressive. The Saga is a uh, uh, super, super imposing piece. It is probably... I love all their one-thirds, though, man. I ain't seen one, uh, other than the ninjas, I ain't seen one Street Fighter one-third that I haven't thought was spectacular. Yeah. Chun-Li, Akuma, Ryu, they yeah. look fucking serious, like really yeah. high, high level. I mean, some of the best one-third stuff I've seen. Yeah. I think well, so. The uh, the saga is is amazing. Uh, I mean, like when you when you look at it, there was a few complaints on the forums and stuff about how the body looks over textured. But the thing is, is like saga is meant to be like he's like late forties. He's not a young man. He's, old, yeah. he's like he's he's an old he's man. Old, he's not an old, old man, but he's old he's man. like an older man. And the thing is, is like he ain't. Uh, I, I he ain't gonna I, be. I think he's I think late forties, early fifties, and he's. He's meant to look. I mean, he's scarred up, and you know, like yeah. he's meant to look. He's used, dude. He's like he, the reason yeah, why yeah, he's yeah. well, he's weathered. He's a hard fighter, dude. He's he's been in some nasty fucking battles, lost his eye and shit, and be scarred up through his chest. He's he's not. He's no one to. He doesn't. You know what I mean? He don't. He's not like Vega, does he? He's meant to be kind of. Mm. 
So I mean, this, bit, you know? this piece was, uh, again, uh, when, when I saw this piece, I was just like, it's like the size of like a one third statue. Cause I mean, Sagat's meant to be like seven foot tall. So when you see the half scale, yeah, I mean, it's the size of a half scale. Statue. Yeah, probably even that. Yeah. I mean, he is big. He's a big guy. And then you've got the, um, it is a one third scale. Well, that's why. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. 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 So like, he's like a half scale size. Uh, yeah. yeah like what them big fucking Iron Men thing are that are like 35, 36 inches tall. Them yeah. type of. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got the they aren't food dogs, but they're like the Thai equivalent of food dogs. And um you get you can buy those separately as well. They're $125, I think they are, but they're both they're both different sculpts. So that was the it's thing not as not well. Bad with people pair actually $125. Personally, I don't really like them too much. I don't yeah. think they add too much, but that, I, I'm only looking at pictures. I didn't really in person, it may be a completely different thing. I thought they in just person, added a um, lot of fucking width, you know, they added a lot of width to it. Yeah, in person. Well, you can put them anywhere you want, but in person, I mean, they are they're pretty big. Can you? They'll be. Sorry. Can you put them anywhere? They don't connect anywhere. Can you just put them anywhere you want? They're freestanding. They're they're independent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. That's pretty. That's, and that's they're cool. they're different as well. I mean, as you can see, I don't know if it's on purpose, but one of them has got us like a, a smashed eye, and one of them. Yeah. So like, if you see that one, I don't know if this is done on purpose, but that one's got like a smashed eye. And then that one has got yeah. a massive smash on his chest. So I don't know if that's on purpose. Do you know where he's got? Of course it is. So he's got like his scar there. Is, yeah. And he's like, but they're mirrored. So it's like, his one goes from there to there. And his yeah. goes, actually, it was the same. And then that one's got. Yeah, that'll be intense. Yeah. That's a lovely little way through it. That's a lovely little nod. So uh, there's I like that. that. I really love it. And I, I really like the switch out torso. I saw a picture yeah, where yeah. He's even, he even looks older. Old. Yeah. And he's got like a, he's got one. He's got that in it, which is this pose, which I really like because that's the, the what I remember from the anime where he's 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 you know a scar. Yeah. He's talking to Ryu. He sort of has his hand out, out, like in front of it, you know. And then you have got the other one, which looks like I don't think he's got the patch on his eye. He's got the moot. He's got the tie boxer um, thing that goes around um, the front of his well, The other one is a classic, so it's from Street Fighter One. Yeah, but that's the tie thing. He's got the thing around his head yeah, that they wear yeah. that sticks up at the back. And then he looks he looks like... Uh, and it, I think both of his eyes are white, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, well, this one, his eyes are white anyway. But So, yeah, this, again, I mean, the only things... Um, there were complaints about the shorts being quite short for tie shorts, which they are, but the thing is, Sagat's shorts are like that. Um, and then the other th complaint was... Um, that I had a little bit was... His body is, you can't really see on these pictures, but his body is really, really textured, which I, I do really like the weathered look of his body. But then his head is super smooth. So that's quite, you know, that, that, it was, it just reminded me a bit of, you know, the um, uh, Sideshow Hulk issue. Yes. yes I remember yes, yes. when I got that in hand. It, it, also, it didn't help that I think that them heads from Sideshow were painted in a different place the bodies were. So you are ones that yeah. didn't match. Well, at least these ones, the actual colours match. But, you know, it's still the kind of rough going into the smooth, which... Contrast um, will show yeah, up on it. It won't be ideal. Possibly. So we'll have to see... No, just tell him to fucking... They need to just texture his face up a bit. That's sand all. his face up a little, you know. Um, yeah, if I get sand... There you, go. Back, you, might to, yeah, you might be able to see a bit more there where you can see <laughs> his face is quite shiny. And then and also you've got the, um, the bandages there. They're done really well. So I mean, uh, again, I was super, super really impressed. Like, but for me, I thought it was what well, I've. I, again, I agree with you. I wasn't there in person, but in pictures, I certainly. What I was sat up when I saw that saga. I thought, "Fuck me, that looks a bit." Well, cool. when you when you stand like next to it, looking at it, you're like, "Only five. It, it, was, it was one of the most um, uh, kind of like the pieces that probably drew the most attention, probably in the whole show out of any 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 company. Yeah. You know, it was just uh, had the most presence out of any piece. I'd have to say. Um, it was just um, again. I, I kind of. It's one of those things that where you you um, you hear like it's a one third piece and it's thirty five inches whatever. I don't even know how tall this one is, but until you see it, you know you don't know how tall it is. It's the same as like people. Um, it's really funny because people will go like, oh, you know that that Iron Man, the new Iron Man Mark Three. He's only he's only twenty two inches, but. You just then, yeah, he might be 22 inches tall, but then you've got the footprint of it as well that's massive. So it's, it's, yeah, it's hard it, to... It adds up. 
it ain't just that. It's, I, I know exactly no, but, what you no, mean. But the other a, day, a lot of people will go, this I'm piece is only that high, and they'll just do it by, know, you know, this piece is so listen, small. You I know, know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. The thing is, I, the other, even the other day, I moved. Black, I told you I moved. I put Black Bolt in with Better Ray Bourne, and I moved him, didn't I, right? When yeah. I put Black Bolt in, Black Bolt, people know, it isn't a small piece or whatever else, but when I put it next to Better Ray Bill, Better Ray Bill's torso was like twice the fucking size of the whole yeah. of the of, of Better Ray Bill. Better Ray Bill was like this thick, and 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 Black Bolt was like half the size. So sometimes it's not just the height or even the width. Sometimes it's just how fucking chunky these things are. Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh yeah, I mean uh, that's yeah. It's just the, the the sheer kind of mass on some pieces, you know. Mm. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You done with PCS? Uh, sorry, I'm just going. Um, I was trying to do something, but it didn't really work. Shock. Yeah, I was trying to say so I could comment, like read the comments as well, but I can't see them. <clears throat> well, when you've done with PCS, read the comments, then we'll go on to Sideshow, then done. All right. So. That would okay. mean, that would mean structure, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. So just more more close ups of Saga. There's pictures like close ups. So you see his hand, all the kind of veins coming through there, teeth. Great. Really, really nice. Shorts. Sure. There you go. So we're on Sideshow now. Stop. So you go through the comments then from PCS if there uh, if there is anything. All right, just going to go back or over that then and. All right, so. Yeah. All right, where are we? Damn, load of comments. <laughs> Alakas. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I think um, I think Neo Dragon has changed his name. I think that's Neo Dragon, so he's changed it to uh, Collection Neo. But there's only one end, so like Collection Neo. I'm assuming mm. that's uh, that's Alex because of his comments. Uh, he's saying about there's like thirty five thousand people in the um, first for figures club, and they can't even get a hundred orders for. Um, they can't even get what? They can't even get 100 orders, orders for the law because the law got like delayed, didn't it? Uh, that's it. That's what, what I mean. You can have a fight. Listen, you can have 100,000 people in your group. If no one's fucking buying anything, it's useless. Yeah. Uh, Rob, N, Rob N. Banks is showing you forgot to show pics of Alucard, but no, it was, um, we kind of just showing the highlights. And uh, to me, Alucard wasn't really a highlight. But the funny thing was, is when we were there, uh, my girlfriend actually went up to the Alakan and she said, oh, that's the guy from Castlevania. And I was like, okay, that's quite impressive. Because we actually watched, the, we did actually watch the anime. So that's what she Lie, did. You know you you got a hard on for her right then and there. You're like, listen, I mean, I get your ass back to the hotel, woman. Get your fucking self <laughs> back to the hotel and get unchanged. You know that that's how you were feeling. I always oh, get yeah. like that when he says something good like that to me. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck, I'm so proud of you, man. They're so far between, though, aren't they? They just don't really come out of a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, Raphael, um, uh, the painter guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, Raph Raphael. Um, yeah. Rebello. Re yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no. He's apparently done a Kester Wolf review and he says it's not too bad. I guess it just depends. Uh, I've, seen, I've, I've, seen loads, I've seen loads of pictures of it, man. And. Uh, it just uh, it, the problem is with fur. If you don't paint the fur well, it just looks like a bit. It just looks like a furry shit that someone's left in it. It just doesn't look great, and I, I don't think it was painted very well. <laughs> and then uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is Alex and uh, Collection Neo saying, uh, "Yeah, you said Alex. Uh, Jerry's good at doing men. <laughs> uh, yeah, seriously, that fucking sculpt is insane. It's a really, really good body sculpt. Jerry yep. is very, very good at sculpting big, muscly men." Very good. Uh, yeah. Where are we? Actually, where are we? Abuki. Uh, glad to hear that. Rafael's done that. So we scrolled up. Uh, I think the dogs are a nice option, actually. Uh, oh, and actually non-scarred both eyed version from street fighter five the anime 
quite obscure. Apparently, that's somebody Jerry falling in love with Street Fighter 2. Um, there we go. So we've got um, Shaf Sirius uh, coming in, who was um, unfortunately removed the other day. So uh, I think he's traveling a bit. Big up, Geo. Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, Real. that's that's Shaf Sirius saying big up, Geo. Uh, yeah, saying uh, Collection Neo is, is Alex. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, first of figures, mostly the painter Kessler's wolf fur is good. Uh, a lot of shitty pictures, that's the problem. Uh, good afternoon, thanks you for sharing all your girlfriend probably remembers Cat Alacan because he's so feminine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's all the comments. Thank you, guys. Cool. Uh, what we'll do then is scroll down a bit. Uh, we're going to go straight on to... Actually, I'll do it backwards. I'll do it that way, and then... Yeah, let's do it that way. All right, so what we've got here is... Uh, we're going to open it up. And just put that there. Present to everyone. So what we've got here is... Um, so basically the um red sonia from sideshow was there so i got to see that in person and uh yeah she's she's very nice um she looks really really good it's, it's kind of like a more see that a very more realistic looking woman isn't she can you see it yeah i can see it yeah so far oh, but if you click and i can't then you know we'll see what goes on it's just being a bit temperamental on my end but i can say i mean i've seen loads of pictures of her anyway i think she looks exactly oh, it's not a terrible one for it to freeze on but yeah so i mean the only issue with that was um on her um on her right the actual uh headpiece like the hairline looked like they needed to clip it back in um it looked a bit loose oh really yeah it looked like they didn't put like it looked okay. like um it came as a, an extra part and they hadn't pressed it in far enough, and it was quite a bad seam. But I'm pretty sure okay. it was because they hadn't pressed it in enough. Uh, okay. So you got that, and she reminds she does actually remind me of the um, the wildling. You know nothing about snow. Yeah, she yeah, looks, she does actually look like her. You know when you look up close, it's done really it's well. Engaged the way. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, all the detail is done really so well. The right. uh, the media's done well. Um, it's it's like that's probably their best. If you have to look at like um, uh, a piece that they've done really well every single time, I think the Red Sonia's come up, you know, where the prototypes yeah. are all really good. But yeah, so it's very strong. Well, um, the, I mean, I've seen I've seen the Red Sonia, the the first Red Sonia. We've seen that in person. That's a nice piece. And the second yeah. one I have at the moment, and that's fucking a lovely piece as well. So you still, you still got it? Yeah, I ain't sold it yet. I'm uh, trying to sell it, it. I can't. See it. <laughs> well, where is it? You box it up. I had to, yeah, I had to box uh, up. So it's, it's ready to be. It's ready. It's ready to be sold. I mean, the um, I ain't got any space. I've literally. I mean, it's. It, I've got no space. So yeah. So it, uh, that's it. Wait, wait, that, I can't do boxes. Dude. Once things go in boxes, they've got to go. Yeah, as as I, I, box, I've got an issue as well. I mean, like once it's in a box, it becomes quite expendable. You know. So this is one of my. This was one of my favorite pieces from Sideshow. There. Um, then I think you, she looks great. You've got the Nightmare Batman, and um, one of my, uh, you know, one of my kind of uh, rules is I'm not going to buy anything that's below um, quarter scale. And when I saw this piece, I was like, this piece looks really nice. It actually looks super, mm. super nice. Um, they've done really, really well because it was kind of a bit like um, you're doing another Batman, and you're doing a Batman which isn't even like part of a line, and you're doing your own thing, and it's like fuck me, don't you think Prime One's already raped that? you know, to death now. There's so many Batmans around. Oh, my God, why, why are you even bothering? But I think it's done really, really well. I, I actually really liked it. The the exclusive head was done really well. It's got, like, a little uh, bust that comes with it. Uh, you got, like, all this detailing on there where you've got, like, uh, like a little mouse on it, on the gargoyle. You've got quite a few of those. You've got all the bats and the mice. Um, the detail is great. The, the Batman's a bit... Uh, some people say he's a bit skinny, uh but that's just kind of the look they're kind of going for you know you got, you got um, to be careful with that in it because it's um it's like a you know what i mean it's bats are not exactly the most they, they're like flying rats isn't they so it's one of them yeah, things yeah. That, that when you see 
it depicted that way. I think that he looked that they look quite lean, didn't they? Them sort of thing, the monster yeah, sort of style yeah. that they do with them look, always look like that. But I think it's I think it's done really well. I mean the um uh the the exclusive head does remind me quite a lot of like a kind of horror kind of Dracula where he kind of turns into like a bat, you know, it does really look like that, have that look to it. And I think I, I really liked it. When I saw this in person, I was like, you know what, this is this is pretty good. You know, this one, you know, I wasn't yeah. I wasn't even it wasn't even like I wasn't even like excited to see it at all until you know you actually see it. And when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, this this line could be could be quite decent, you know. Uh yeah, it doesn't then you got the uh Iron Man. So this is the Mark Three Iron Man. Obviously, yeah, this has gone up. Yeah. The Mark Three looks good, man. The um I, I had a friend of mine uh, asking about this. Two Face yeah. was asking about this. You know, he was like, what shall I buy? Like, what shall I invest in? And I said, look, you know, I said that the Mark III looks great. I, I told him, you know, if it, he's like, you know, whatever, like fucking money, whatever you want, like, doesn't matter. I, I said the Mark Seven, But I said that this, you know, Alex has been there and seen this and it, and it looks really nice. Apparently mm. it looks really good. So, you know, maybe yeah. get the pre-order of that. And I think he did that. I think he got the pre-order. So, well, I mean, it, it, we, we'll go on to it when we do the chat next. But I mean, the pre-order, pre-order went up and the uh, the exclusive <laughs> sold out. So, um, you know, went up on wait list straight away and it's sold out now. Well, that's five hundred. Uh, that's why it's an Iron Man at five hundred pieces. It's yeah, quite... yeah. So I mean, it's done really, really well. The base is 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 big as well. The base is huge. Um, it looks quite chunky. How's that chess piece in person? I had a lot of crit- critiques about the chess piece. Didn't have an issue with it at all. No issue with it at all. I mean, I, I, I looked at it. Doesn't look like it's too big or anything. No, no. So some really shit all. pictures when it, you know, what I mean, a really bad quality, and then people go oh, mad. Yeah, so. I mean, the problem. The problem is, um, I had this conversation with uh, with people from Sideshow and PCS. The problem is, is when you when you do these conventions, um, things are in uh, in in America. They're in the glass cabinets, and then. Um, They've then got the really, really bad glare because there's spotlights on them. It's so hard to film and so hard to take pictures because your camera wants to focus on the glass and the glare. And then when you're trying to yeah. film inside, it is so difficult. Yeah, so yeah. you're just going to get like a swarm of terrible pictures um, going around. You get with this piece, what's um, the exclusive? That, that head thing that comes separately, yeah. It is, yeah. But we'll go on about that in the chat anyway. I've got the pictures of that in the chat. So... Um, Yes, I mean overall, I mean I, I really I've done really well. The the uh, the weather weathering was done really well. Um, you know, I, I can't. You know, it, it's nothing, nothing bad really about it for me. I mean, it was like um, out of all the Iron Men that side show. Did you get one? No, I didn't actually. I missed it. I, I was uh, I was going to get one, and um, I was I was on holiday. It was when I was in um, uh, Miami and. Uh, Oh, was in Miami. Yeah, I was in Miami, and I said to you know my girlfriend, we were, we were out shopping, and I was basically, yeah, I'll do it when I get home. When I got home, it was sold out, and I'm like, oh, shit, okay, <laughs> fuck that then. But I mean, out of <laughs> all of the kind of new Iron Men that they've done, I think this does look the best um, out of all of them. Even the prototype, you're always going to get the that argument ones. that the prototype Iron Mans always look good, and then the production Iron Mans look not so good. So could be. Yeah. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. So I mean, um, this is definitely the armor. This is the armor that a lot of people want. Yeah. Is this armor? It's well, a lot of people popular. were considering buying the uh, Mark II and repainting it. That's what a lot of people were doing because they were taking so long to do Mark III. People were going to do that. Uh, next piece mm. is um, oh yeah, this is the uh, Aspen piece. So this piece looked great. It's on which blade? It does look very similar to the Witchblade pose, really similar. Uh, again, I've got to do a side-by-side comparison to see if that is the case, because, again, in your memory, your mind fucks with you a little bit, so I don't know about that, but it's done really well. The water effect is really, really good uh, on this base. Yeah, it like, it's really, really strong. Um, and then the if you see on the legs here, the um, it's like clear resin up to about here, and then they paint. I think they painted on the clear resin, so it kind of has a fade from uh, water to uh, to that, and it's done really, really well. The arm, loving that base. Uh, the the legs were done better than the arm. The arm, I, I kind of weren't sold on as much, but the legs look great. The body uh, look great, well as well. And the um, uh, the way the bikini kind of goes, uh, I, I thought that she was done really well. But again, I mean, that's nothing new. Sideshow, you know 
probably the best in the business at doing the female pieces. I mean, there are other companies catching up, but to be honest with you, Sideshow side, side is still ahead at the moment on the female body, I believe. Um, oops, wrong way. But they're, they're, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, you know, when it comes down to it, they're, they're very good. Like they're fade. female stuff. You've got a kind of fade there. You've got this like, weird little baby seals thing there as well in there. Yeah. And there you go. And then the next one is uh, Swamp Thing. So again, this one is uh, an impressive piece. I mean, it's done done really, really well. Solid. It's like it's the the Swamp Thing's all one piece, apart from I believe some of the um, kind of roots have come out. They look like kind of dreads. Apart from them to come out, they look like they're going to have to go on, otherwise they'll break. But uh, he looks like he's all one one piece, the whole figure. Um, wow. I think there's, from being in person, there is more kind of separation to the base than in pictures. But you can't really see it here. But, yeah, I remember you know, the little, the video, there's yeah, contrast, like the little snapping is, turtle and uh, uh, the snake. and you know, It all looks all one colour here, but it's, it's not as much. I mean, the only thing is that, you know, this piece is huge and uh, I'm hoping it could sort of make it in one piece really because some of these sort of the bits on the back of the uh, where it's kind of like a like a bit of a tree or something uh, and then you kind of got the um, you know all these kind of bits here they I'm hoping that they'll be be quite good in, in shipping I haven't got a picture in the back I should have had one actually how um, big is it oh god it must be like 30 I'd say 30 inches. It was oh, 20, 20, probably yeah, 28 inches. Sorry. I'd wow, say. that's a big piece. It's big. It is big. Um, so, yeah. Wow, that's like, so, they're like, they're like the five pieces that kind of stood out for me. Um, and then kind of like other other little things to mention. I mean, the Han Solo uh, face was really, really good in person. I mean, uh, again, it's hard with pictures, but um, in person, his face is amazing. I mean, it's probably one of the best um, – sideshow um or well, definitely star wars uh faces um it is really really well done it looks at speed image of harrison ford it was, it was great it was like yeah really good in person and the mixed media on this That's is great one. um solo looks I mean, it's not the strongest the, the strongest portraits are not movie portraits so that's great well movie portraits are really hard you know they're really really hard to pull off and uh i think on this i mean again we're talking about the the prototypes so they could drop the ball to the factory, you don't know, but I'm talking about the, at the prototype level. Really, yeah. really good. Um, then the Harley Quinn, again, this, this piece photographs really, really bad. Um, her face looks like Margot Robbie. Her face is really, really well done. The body is really good. Uh, the material looks... Like the new PF, yeah. Yeah, the material looks really, really good. The bat looks really good. Um, the mixed media looks good. The only thing I did not really like was the hair looked a bit too uh, like there's no life to it. It looked like it was just like solid Blast. clumps. Well, it just looked like you know her her fringe is just like these two fucking clumps of hair. Her ponytails are just two clumps of hair, and there was just no kind of separation there. But the face looks great. I just think the hair needs a bit of work. So there's that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, then you've got the uh, Max, uh, sorry, Max Brook, uh, Mark Brook. So Max Brook wrote the um, zombie books, didn't he? The, the uh, World War Z. Um, so you've got the Mark, Mark Brook uh, Spider Man line. So you've got the Spider Man, uh, you've got the uh, Silk, like it, yeah. and you've got the uh, Spider Gwen. Um, the thing about these three was the actual figures on all three of them looked really, really good. Uh, the Spider-Man figure looks really Gwen good. Looked, I thought Gwen looked, but I weren't impressed with the other one. Certainly not the Spider-Man. The Spider-Man was really, I was like, what the fuck is going on yeah, there? All, all the figures look great. All the figures look really, really good. The Spider-Man comes with an exclusive portrait where it's um, half and half, and it's half Peter Parker. And it's Sweet. sort of like in the, the kind of classic comments, on the classic comics where he used to be, uh, when he done his Spider-Sense, you would see the Spider-Mask and the Peter Parker face, and it's done like that. Yeah. So that could be really cool. But... The, my problem with all three of these pieces are these web these webs at the bottom are fucking terrible. You know, they didn't even grow they didn't grow on me at all. Um, you know, the Spider Gwen, uh, there's a seam here. And you know, yeah. underneath that where all this web joins on is you know, can go, basically. These signs are great, she looks great, but th this web sucks. Uh the the silk 
same thing that web sucks spider-man you know there's a few more little things going on there there's like a newspaper a pizza box it's camera the camera decal on the front of the lens looks terrible um but this 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 spider base thing i don't i don't like it at all do not like it at all I, again i thought the figures were great yeah. but i don't i can't i can't do it i can't have any love for those spider things the webs um <laughs> then oh yeah and i got to see the venom as well which i didn't put any pictures in of the venom um again i i i think the venom uh pose looked a lot better than i thought it was going to look the pose wasn't that bad at all um my only issue with that venom was um the paint effect looks like it's it looks like he's dusty. It looks like it's been out in someone's collection for like three years. And it looks like it was at Tom's house. And um, basically he's got like, you know, like a real dust in, in all the kind of uh, grooves. That's what the kind of paint effect looks like. Um, and then it's okay. like the texturing is is just too much. It's just too much texturing. Um, and I just think it, it doesn't really work for me uh, with the texture. Mm. So it's a shame, but yeah. Uh, then you've got the J. Scott Campbell um, Little Mermaid. This was quite a surprise to me, actually, because it just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, it yeah, does Ariel, really remind... Ariel grew up, man, and got hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ariel, Ariel got well hot there. Um, but the thing about it was uh, it just reminds me quite a lot of the uh, Mary Jane. Just Similar. Just the yeah. the Mary Jane, yeah. yeah. But I think yeah. it's done really well, and I think it's, uh, it's a very interesting line. I mean, if you look up the um, J. Scott Campbell uh, fairy tale stuff, there's there's loads of them. There's loads of images. I think he's done like calendars, posters, prints, yeah. whatever, oh, everything you think of. So. I'd love to be a flounder right now. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you would, yeah. Yeah. Well, that little red crab. Yeah, Sebastian. Sebastian, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the tail, like, uh, the tail's done really, really well. Uh, there's like one fifth yeah, scale. Uh, the Spider Man is like fifth as well. Little beef. I quite like it myself. Yeah, I could see like someone like, like Jenny probably liking that. Um, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Then you have, okay, the Wolverine as well. So uh, we'll come back to that picture. Um, so the Wolverine, um, here you go. So the Wolverine is the last piece actually that we'll talk about. Uh, what do you mean? Where's Oracle, motherfucker? Where's Orco? I don't know. I don't know. I'll bring up Orco in a minute. I thought Orco yeah. looked the shit. When yeah, I saw did. that, I thought that looked fucking yeah. great. So you've got, you got the uh, the Wolverine, and um, I think Wolverine figure looks really, really nice. The only issue I kind of had with the figure, I mean, obviously, first of all, a lot of people have the issue with the, the neck, and uh, they say the neck's too long. But what it is, is where right. the uh, cow comes round, it kind of adds the illusion the next longer because it kind of goes up. Oh, okay. It goes up more under the chin. Yeah, a lot of people just don't include that, do they? They just do the back of the cow. They don't really do the front of it. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of from there. Well, there's, I think this is the first piece where it's actually got the cow, uh, the under part on it. So, I mean, yeah. um, when, I, when I first saw it, I think when I did the video, I did mention that and I did say, you know what? This is this is this ain't on. This is too long. It looks like a fucking draft. Blah blah blah. But over the kind of four days of being there and then you kind of looking at it again and again, I mean, I looked at this probably quite a lot. And um, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's one of those things where you kind of then realise that. Well, actually, if you were wearing that and you kind of pulled that down, yeah, I think because you know, if you see like where you stick it out, that's it. Adam's apple at where that comes in. Yeah, you know. So you know, I don't think it's got a long neck at all. Um, the the claws look great. The uh, the hair on the arms, the the Wolverine. Um, yeah, that's one of the criticisms of XM's one, isn't it? The yellow one is that his claws are too straight. Yeah, because his claws are, are quite yeah. straight. The XM one's quite straight claws, and they look yeah. like they flare out a little a little more. Yeah. So good. You, I mean, that, I think I have to say, I mean, the face was amazing. The face was really really well done. It was yeah, like it an old. It looks like an like older Wolverine. Wolverine. Um, you can't really see there, but you have like rays in the hair. Is, um, this suit is a different Wolverine. What is this? I know this. Um, they, is it, what is uh, God, they did say, didn't they? Not Age of Apocalypse. It was... Um, no, it's not. Yeah. Uh, it's Astonishing like or something like that? No, it begins with an I. I've forgotten what the fuck it is now. 
All right. Well, Don't anyway. worry. But, uh, yeah. so, I mean, but I think overall, the Wolverine, uh, I mean, I, I do think that the blue should have been smooth. And I, don't, I think they should have left some of it smooth because it's, it's kind of got texture everywhere. And I think you need the smooth to kind of add uh, the contrast. I agree, yeah. Um, I agree, yeah. But, I mean, overall. He's got texture on his arms. He's got texture on his gloves, his boots, his trousers, his belt. Yeah. He's fucking, you know what I mean? Everywhere, his skin, his face. It's, mm. it's, it's just, it, yeah, I mean, there is, it's a little, I mean, what really does balance a piece well is when, it, you know, you've got texture and you've got smooth because it's got a bit of contrast when light hits it. Yeah. But I really, I, I mean, I, I, I'm digging the pose a lot and I think it looks, uh, the only thing is for me, you know what I mean, is I'm not a big Wolverine fan, so it needs to be, my Wolverine needs to be my Wolverine and uh, it's got to be really, I thought I could get away with that sort of brown suited one from side but I just, I, I had no, the same thing. I just had no affection for it after a while. Like within about like five weeks, I was like, yeah, I don't like it anymore. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's a bad sign. So, you know what I mean? I, if you love the character, you can get away with this sort of, uh, this different um, suit, different, but for me, I, it's it, you know it needs to be this sort of yellow, uh, yellow suit for me. Yeah, the, the I mean, well, to be honest with you, this um, I, I I think this is probably the best sort of sculpted uh, Wolverine suited or suited Wolverine that we've seen. I think I think this yeah. this is done really really well, and especially uh, I mean I haven't seen a lot of the custom ones, but especially out of all of the licensed one, this is probably the best suited Wolverine um body that we've seen i mean uh, again we i mean obviously there's a lot more coming out in the future that could be better but we you know from what we've seen so far the figure is great the base i'm not sold on um, what's wrong with the base the base looks nice what's wrong with the base i'm just not sold on it really it's it's, it's, it's that thing where you know they're, they're just milking that fucking sentinel base but the thing is is i just don't i think it looked a bit flat I think they need to work out uh, this this part here. There needs to definitely be a light, uh, and, and I think they said they were trying to engineers. They're trying to work it out to to have kind of like a, a, a flickering dying light going in there. So I think that would that Sweet. would be really good. Um, I just think there was something about the the base for me that just needed. There was just something missing. Like when I saw it, um, I was blown away by the by the figure, and then um, I looked all over the figure, and I'm like, great, love it lot awesome wow and then when i worked down to the base i was yeah. like meh okay but back up to the figure you know the um Did you buy it <laughs> well never say never <laughs> yeah never say never oh uh, you know there's only, i mean you know wolverine's one of those ones you can have like you know easily have 10 wolverines in your collection and wouldn't be a problem well, uh, i think you have haven't you i've got three in that corner but uh, i think i've got Four. I've got. I don't know. I've got like six fucking Peter Parker Spider Man. I think that's the thing I've gone fucking crazy about at the moment. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I've got six Peter Parker Spider Man. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, see in that photograph. In that photograph, that don't look bad to me. Well, it's quite blurry. In the picture, anyway, it doesn't look bad. So maybe. Yeah, maybe I think. I yeah, for me, it just something about it i don't know it's just missing something i can't really explain but it just needed a bit more, oomph, yeah, more of a bone. it's not just your personal feeling for this sentinel shit again because that's you know that's not again it's similar to the aguma thing just because you're bored of the sentinel type bases don't mean it's a bad base if it's painted no no well, i think i think looked... it was uh for me it was maybe a bit flat and it just needed all right, but as long as it's based on quality, not you just being yeah. oh fuck, I can't deal with it. I don't, think there's, I don't think there was an issue with the sculpt. Uh, I think there was just something missing in the paint and something like where these these joins were. I think it needed a bit, and then this definitely needs to be a light up here. So is it not a light up? It looks like no, no, it's just painted at the moment. So yeah, it's just painted at the moment. So <laughs> right, see, that's, that's hopefully that's again we'll uh, uh, we'll see that come back a bit better. Let me. Um, we come out of that and uh what i'll do is i'll look down to the comments and let's see what's going on well i'm gonna look for a fucking orco i don't know where he's gone yeah is, uh, is he in the chat though sorry is he in the chat is he in the chat no i don't know what happened there uh where Step are into we? My office. scroll up oh god there's loads of comments again 
Yeah, read the comments, bitch. Do your job. No, I'm trying. It would be nice if we could share, distribute the workload here. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. I think the dog's sucking us Saga. Uh, da, da, da. The dog is sucking on Saga. Is that no, what no, somebody I said. said. Um, I think the dog's, and I said, yeah, that's Saga. No, so someone's talking about. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, I'll, what's his name? That chap's serious. He's talking. He's, I think he started an argument with the wrong Rob. It's not even the same person. Um, oh, he's arguing with someone, is he? It's not the Well, the other Rob's getting a blame for it because it's not. It's um, uh, what's his name? Rob. Um, I forgot his name now. Our boy Rob Newberry. No, no, Rob Newberry's the one who he was arguing with, and now he's arguing with the other Rob. <laughs> Rob Rob Rochelle. Rochelle. Your name's Rob. Be careful. Yeah, he's just going to go for everyone, Rob. Um, so. Da, 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 da. Red Devil or uh, the new Sonya? So the one with the snake or the new one? What do you think? I really, it really, I think it really depends on what your, um, you know, if you're a big Red Sonya fan, I, I think it depends on which sort of depiction you're going to like. I mean, I think that the the newer one, the one that I've got at the moment, is uh, a little bit more muscular, a little bit more able. She looks like a more physically uh, dominant specimen i think that this one looks like um a playboy model hot i think she's got like yeah. she's got like a crazy body so not that you can't be you know a playboy model and run around you know slaying people but i just think that the the one with the snake probably looks a little bit more similar to the comic sort of look i think that this one looks a little bit more what a real red sonya could possibly look like you know yeah I don't think there's any losing. I, I I think that the new one's hotter. If you are listen, if you are, this is the best way I can answer it, right? If it's about fight fighting or fucking, I'd rather I'd rather fuck the the, the new one, and, and I'd definitely <laughs> rather fight the new one. I wouldn't want to fight my one with the snake because I reckon I'm going to get undone. So I'm going to yeah. go to bed and have a scrap with the the new version more than I would want to take on the red Sonya with the snake. Let me let's just put it that way. It's the oh, best I can do. Um... It's the best I got. <laughs> so I'm just going through them. Richard, Richard Melbourne's in. Uh, they're doing their Halloween special. Uh, they're all dressed up as well. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. Are they dressed up? Um, what have they got in? I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you what they're all dressed up as, but um, I, got, I got sent a picture, which I don't think I was meant to see, first of all, of um, this well good blackmail material, I tell you, for uh, George Medina wearing. Um, uh, Captain America outfit. It's quite funny, actually. Um, Who? Really? George Medina. Um, is he on there? Is he on there? Marvel, Marvel, um, Marvel. Is he on their uh, chat? Rick Shaw was a zombie, and then um, uh, Richard Melbourne was like a hillbilly or something, <laughs> and he was trying to do like um, like a Southern American act, like a hillbilly accent the whole way through the chat. I don't know if he lasted, but it's going to be quite bad. Oh, um God, I love them. And he's apparently got like alcohol in jars where he's like drinking moonshine. Um <laughs> oh, <cool. laughs> right, so sorry, just uh da, 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 da. what's up? Who is that? So uh Adgorian uh Montoya, what's up guys? Uh ID Collector Yo, Seared, what's up? Uh Johnny Weather. Uh, Collectiverse Halloween. Oh uh, yeah, so the next Collectiverse is going to be a Halloween special, uh, which is why they. Ah. So that's why they were dressed up, not just because they. they yeah. Um, <laughs> well, you don't know. It could be a combination of the things. Yeah. Um, Maybe that's just Sunday regulars, man. That's the Sunday best. <laughs> yeah. All right. So sorry, dude. Sorry, just trying to skim through these. Talk at your mumbling, stuttering, fuck you. What are you saying? Uh, Mexico. No, so I'm just looking through. Hi, everyone. Oh, Aaron Ray Perez is watching as well. Greetings from uh, Mexico. Much love, my brother. Keep your chin up, buddy. Uh... Yeah, man, some dark comments coming out of him on Facebook, man. That's fucking yeah, upset was, me. That's... Uh, that was astonishing, X-Men, the uh, Wolverine. 
that's it. Fuck me. Not, not an eye. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know you went to primary school with me. I can't spell either. Uh, the yeah, cause will be metal on that Wolverine. Uh, it's going to be seeking the, the masked Wolverine head is going to be the, oh, that's new. Normally they do the unmasked. Oh no, sorry. Unmasked is the exclusive. Sorry. Yes. They're, they're sticking to that then. Yeah. They usually uh, do that one. Yeah. Yeah. I remember now, yeah, nice beard, yeah, it's, it's well growing, it's like growing well quick. You need um, to clean that shit up, man, you look like a fucking hillbilly. Yeah, yeah, uh, Super Steel in the house. Yeah, we're going to go off soon, Super Steel, so you're going to have to go into the other chat now. Um, I love that guy, man, what's that like, uh, how is you, how are you, how, you know that guy, That's, he's fucking uh, yeah. brilliant. Well, he does, uh, he does the, uh, the videos with his son, doesn't he? he yeah, man, I love that. And stuff, yeah. So, um, see, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's that's using tools right there. That's smart business. It's like you create a little army and you get them to do your work for you, don't you? <laughs> minions, isn't it? Little minions, <laughs> little flying monkeys, oh. the witch has. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. Um, let me just also... you know that witch well reminds me of my mother. You know that? You know, I had that on my ringtone for ages when she used to call me. What? <laughs> so fucking be my ringtone. My mum used to ring me. What is uh, and it won five uh, like... sideshow oh. Orco. I'm just trying to get Orco up and see about. There you go. Good old, I like that one. Good old, uh, good old sweet collector. There we go. All right. So then we just finish up with the um, piece. I actually, did. Uh, really surprised me as well, but uh, there you go. So basically, Sideshow are doing the Orco with uh, tweet heads, and this piece looked really, really nice. It was next to the obviously the uh, He Man and the Skeletor, which See, again, really look, like this. they look, they look I great. Like this a lot. Is it, I mean, one of, it's another one of those moments where um, Pop Culture Shock obviously did the uh, the classic looking line, uh, which a lot of people were really, really happy with. That was one fifth. Um, then, um, oh no, sorry, that was one quarter, wasn't it? But it's was like a small one quarter. Um, then Pop Culture Shock came out with their own take of He Man with Battle Cat, which again looked great. Um, and then Sideshow were like, all right, we're going to do our own take in one fifth. And people were just like, huh? What the fuck are you doing? And then, uh, but that came out really well and it was really, really popular, they said. They said they, I mean, they had no. Now, I really think that those pieces gave birth to the, the sort of one fifth movement. The one well, fifth um, things. Yeah, the one fifth was like dying. You know, the uh, the one fifth had had a run with all the uh, the original sort of comicettes, all the uh, kind of X Men and the Spider Man pieces that were coming out before, um, and then it kind of died a little bit. The um, J. Scott Campbell line was like, eh, you know, um, and then this came out, and again, Saito didn't even think it was going to do that well. They they just thought they were going to do a He Man um, and maybe a Skeletor. Um, and then they realized that, that, you know, yeah. they did really well. So Love the that still, Orco still is, um, they kind of paired up with uh, Tweeter Heads to do the Orco. And uh, it looks great. It looks really, really nice. It's really impressive, actually. I love it. I've been cracking. Yeah. My wife still wants me to get that fucking um, oh. uh, Skeletor. Well, you know, it's on the Skeletor. I just, uh, he's got a Hordak on his belt. Yeah, yeah, on the center, yeah. yeah. You know, it's That's right. Easter eggs, bitch. Yeah, so you got, uh, yeah. Orko again looks great. No, I like that. Only, I, it, I dig that. Yeah. I like this whole line. I think it looks great. I want to see them that. do like so a just... mob of like beast man, and I especially want to see that dude with the two heads. Well, you want to see blue, Roman, Roman man because that's what people used to call you, <laughs> Ram man. Yeah, the little, the little fucking. Ram is fucking it's a Ram man. It's Rammer Man or something. Yeah, it's Ram Man. Oh, okay, yeah. Ram, it might be Rammer Man, Ram Man. Yeah, yeah. So it was, um, yeah, that's that's kind of like the uh, the stuff for the um, New York Comic Con. So what do you want to do? Do you want to go back on for um, for the chat? Oh, or yeah, let, let's, let's, let's cut this here so that people, if they're looking for New York, they can see it. And then we let's All have right. a little test one and see if I can see pictures. Because if I can't see any pictures, there's no chat to do. Because uh, right. I can't do this with 300 pictures. I can't. I can't just guess what you're fucking chatting it's, about. Uh, 380 pictures. All right. So what we do then is yeah. I think I'm going to change my T-shirt. Yeah, I, I did, I did well you. there with that. I've got to say that. Yeah. I've got, I give myself a pat on the fucking back for having a good memory. Yeah. I keep I keep looking at my uh, my T-shirt on the uh, the screen and it, it, it don't look too good. 
Um, I'm going to have to change my <laughs> I don't want to be the first one to tell you. Huh? You know what I mean? I don't want to be the first one to tell you. I mean, what the fuck's going on with that V-neck? Could he get any lower? Did you fucking uh, dance just, on men just, for money earlier? It's just what like, uh, it's just like my, my, what I wear. Like, it's, it's just like a loose t-shirt I wear at home. It's, that's all I wear it for. Yeah, um, yeah, when you're stripping for dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't get many. So, uh, all right, guys, what we're going to do then is we'll cut off there and uh, we're going to come back on. So, um, the uh, the other chat will come back on in a second. We're just going to go, uh, just to, as I say, if people want to see yeah. the New York Comic Con stuff, drink, go for uh, a pee, and come you know, back on. What I do is, uh, actually, I'll tell you what I will do is, while people are here, I'll, I'll give them the link straight away. Uh, So yeah, all right. Um, yeah, say so go go get a drink, George. And uh, where's one thirteen? All right. Actually, I'll, I'll do that. All right. Cool beans. Ah. Actually, I'll just leave it. All right. I'll I'll, I'll be off soon. All right.